Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. In the last video, we finished just in front of a boss store. Very exciting stuff. However, I've had a thought. We had, we got this very early on, probably over the end of episode one or something like that. If we go to our inventory and come over here to quest items, you'll see we've got a Ward 13 keycard. Ford left this in this hideout on the surface, you know, when we first went to Earth. He must have not trusted anyone in the ward with it. So I figured while we're here, because we get teleported back here at the start of every single video, we should go try to find Ward 13, basically. It should be here, right? I think it's maybe below us. I remember a... There's a thing down here telling us I have there's multiple floors. I'm sure I remember a sign somewhere. Yep, that's what I'm looking for over there. Hello, lovely. Ward 13. So we're trying to get to B2. The question, of course, is can we get to B2? <laughs> but let's find out. Let's just go downstairs and see what happens. Can I? Yep, okay. So, yeah, last time we came through there, right? So this is B1. So... So, <laughs> B2, War 30, okay, 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 okay. Maybe we'll get a little bit of loot, maybe we'll get some story. I think we're more likely to get story than anything, but while we're here, we may as well, right? Let me in, maybe I should use the key card. That's a big ass key card, god damn. <laughs> that is an absolute unit of a key card, bloody Nora. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, well, we got a trait. That's a trait, right? I think so. Yeah. Lovely. It's a PC. Hit the any key to continue. No unauthorized access. System diagnostic. Testing uplink. Testing memory. Both online. Electronic mail. <clears throat> From Commander Nathan Haskell to all. Subject protocol update. Due to recent events, we'll be amending our security protocol to require an additional photo ID check upon entry to Ward 13. Entry will still require use of personal security cards. However, an additional ID check will be performed upon entry to the ward. I had a hiccup. All security officers have been notified of the change and the new protocol will take effect immediately. Well, not for me though, because I'm a special little puppet. All right, let's have a little poke around. Doesn't look like it's a huge area, so shouldn't take very long. We can... Get ourselves some law. Everyone loves law. <laughs> log. Oh no, it's too much log. Okay, this it's actually too much log. I'm gonna just do what we usually do here. There you go. There you go. Oh, even more. After the dreamers have killed all but Castle already met our time, they can't pan them somewhere in here. The dreamers, Castle's there. Abandoned. The system fought us every turn and the root creatures began pounding at the door said they knew what we were trying to do. The roots are still out there. Blah, 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 blah. Electronic mail. Dearest Reg, I know you're dying to learn what the government's been doing since I moved into World 13. So much to tell, I don't know where to start. The red crystals weren't anything we thought, Ray. They're not power sources at all. They're conduits through space itself. I know I wouldn't have believed it either. Wait until you see what they're doing. They've connected test subjects, dreamers they call them, to some kind of guardian entities in other worlds. I don't mean other planets, I mean parallel worlds, side by side with Earth, but completely inaccessible apart from the crystals. Ford and Harsgard, you remember Captain Ford, dear? He was a recruitment official who visited us at the university. Have a few dreamers on an atoll offshore. Maybe where the tower is. And the preliminary reports sound like fairy tales. Fawns, goblins, even magic. Of course, it can't actually be magic, but it certainly feels like it based on our current understandings of physics. Hard to explain without being able to show you though, Reg. They won't let me won't let that happen until your transfer goes through. I don't even know if they'll allow this letter out, to be honest, it's fine. I'll show everything in person when you arrive. Our ward has two dreamers, supervising activation of a third in a few days. Gabriel, they call him, though I get the feeling it's not his real name. Can't wait to see what he says. He says, <laughs> to start investigating one of these worlds for myself. We're on the verge of something amazing, Ray. Reg, there's so much more to the universe than anyone thought. Even Einstein. What wonders might be out there, just lying and wait for our discovery. <clears throat> Belinda. You can't trust someone called Belinda. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bloody Nora Fro, you've not taken well to the start of this video, have you? Like, no, I don't want a recording. <laughs> Oil skin tonic? No, we are getting loot down here. Some tonic, some blood wart. A terrifying projector, which is all projectors. Basically. Um, okay, let's continue down this main corridor first.
Okay. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with that tape recorder. Have we got a new trait? Exciting. Oh, baby. Oh, that's... Oh, no, 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 there we go. <laughs> Plus experience. That is exactly what I wanted. I want a fuse. Interesting. Quest item? Yeah. <clears throat> Must be a, a dead fuse box somewhere down here. It's kind of like when I play Fallout and I max out intelligence. Oh, actually, what you do is you put intelligence to 9 so that you can get the bobblehead for 10. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've always been a big believer in if you can max out your experience, do it as early as possible, you know? Same with um, gold intake and stuff like that. Generally speaking. Log. Okay, again, I've got a few of these. I'm just going to... Um, through them, since we money, they were stuck here for a while. Heard a change in the auto last night for about 20 minutes, so it's kind of singing. Be advised, you might have seen the anomaly on video as well. Hmm. The visuals lit up like the goddamn 4th of July. After approximately 45 minutes, pulls some kind of thing. Error. Just to make sure you can all see it, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not super bothered about the, uh, the lore in games like this, if I'm totally honest. But for those of you who are, Dreamer knows Gabriel is online, data's coming faster we can deal with. Ground is flesh in response to simulate, air is thick and habits of Observation is preliminary, of course. The fuzzies have been acting stranger, what a bad name. The image where Gabriel said might be in danger, there's no evidence of that. I gave Gabriel was attracted over wherever the Guardian was, that's the one he's dreaming through, right? Subject's been declared dead. Oh no, Guardian was killed, body consequently suffered a cardiac arrest. So if the dreamers die, hey Gabriel, <laughs> if the dreamers die on the other side, they die on this side as well. I'm picking up little tidbits here and there. Oh, <laughs> scared the door, <laughs> spooky door. <laughs> but you know what? Oh, hmm. oh, interesting. Maybe now have I missed something down here, or is there another key? What the heck? <laughs> okay, what wait, 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 what happened to you? You see this clock. Someone please says Janet said leave the AC alone. <laughs> Snake Clementine. So Clementine's one of the um I guess one of the dreamers. Got and came across over some polars. Please keep the air conditioner on all Time so dreamers entity lives in a frozen world. Interesting. So they have to keep the dreamer themselves cold as well. I don't think I've missed a key. I think that's maybe something we'll find later on. Maybe as we um Oh, there is a door over here though that I can't get into. Or well, I haven't been into. Not you, you numpty. Um I'm not seeing a fuse box or anything. There's a door here. Am I crazy? I can see. Oh, maybe that's upstairs. I think that's a staircase, actually. So what's down here? Out of curiosity. Is that blood? That's not blood. That's not blood. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Research. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you know, oh, oh, oh. Maybe. Maybe? No. Okay. Research is looking large. I'm going to be inside you eventually, buddy. Just so you know. Right. Anyways, enough faffing around. We've got now 5% XP growth. I'm putting the next 15 points in that, by the way. <laughs> it might make me a little bit weaker in the short term. But in the long term, we're going to really benefit. Oh, yeah. So you can level traits up to level 20. Is uh, something I have been informed about. <clears throat> Which makes sense. Because it, it felt a bit weird that, like, why would you pick certain traits... To a certain point, but if you've leveled them up, you know, if you've maxed them out, then why not, basically? I can't say that that vault one's going to be taking any precedence for a long time, though. <laughs> right. I've not shot anything in ten whole minutes. Let's get in there. And straight into a boss. Actually, because... I'm kind of in two minds. On one hand, going to a boss, we want to have our gear maxed out, right? Oh, oh, actually, the one thing we should do. 
the flip side of that, though, is you're, if you're about to kill a boss, maybe you'll get some gear. You know, maybe you'll get something as a reward that you'll want to spend money to level up, so maybe you don't want to spend all your cash. It's a tricky balance. Do I have enough to... Uh, we'll spend a thousand on this for sure. There we go. One more dragon heart shard. I haven't seen a way to increase their power, though. I wonder if it scales naturally with your health total, or maybe you just don't get enough health that it matters. It's got to be one of those two. Or maybe it will matter and they just never give you it anyway. That could also be the case. Anywho, let's go shoot some things in the face. This desert suffers nothing to live save that which can hardly be considered alive in the first place. <sighs> That's my dramatic voice. Okay, here we go. Ready to get my ass whooped. <laughs> oh, and I just have a little... There's nothing down here at all. Alright, come on then, smoky door. It's kind of weird. The um, It's got one of those flat textures that kind of follows you around. You know, you kind of see it in fire in older games where it's a texture that kind of spins to match you. This has it with, like, clouds instead. Very strange. Um, what is it? Something in the water. It's a mangler. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect the aggressor. Ow, ow, ow. Stop. Ow, ow, ow. Well, I can't move. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's fine. <laughs> that's, that's my bad. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I was pressing B to dodge, which feels like a fairly logical thing to do. But, you know, not if it's not the right button. Oh, tell you what, this is... It's hard to get the time to heal sometimes, I tell you. I'm infected. They keep exploding on me, but I don't see the exploding ones at all. I don't even see the mangler half the time, god damn. I'm getting warmed here. Oh, it's getting bigger. Oh, that's not good. Or is that good? At least I'll find him more now. <laughs> It'll be easier to spot. Oh, goddamn infection. I know I can... I'm going to cure it, screw it. I'm going to try to cure it, screw it. Boy. This is fine. So, if I can find a thing to let me heal quicker, I'm all over that upgrade, I tell you. I tell you that for free right bloody now. Because it is so slow. I'm not always. I'm sorry. Die, I'm so close to winning. <sighs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. <clears throat> Bloody hell. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wasn't. That wasn't as bad. That was definitely not as bad as <clears throat> some of the others we've done. But um, that doesn't mean I want to do it again. Hollow seed. Yeah, so we can make another weapon mod from that. And we got trait, which obviously goes into this. I'm just I'm just gonna max it out. It just makes sense. Max it out now. Suffer a little bit in the short term, but in the long term, we end up with tons and tons. I've maxed out. We end up with tons and tons of XP. And we can max all the other traits out a lot easier. <clears throat> Bloody Nora. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have words in my throat after this, like, you made me look bad on YouTube. <laughs> Admonish yourselves, quickly. All right, I'm gonna go to the exit. I think we're in a dungeon or something. I don't really know. I'm gonna get to the next checkpoint. And then I think we're gonna hop back because there was another, um, I think we could probably do it now, but I'm just gonna keep going to the next checkpoint. And then we might hop back and check out that spooky tree from earlier. The swamp recognizes that which is not its own and rejects that which rejects itself. Much like myself or something. Oh, maybe we're gonna wrap around the tree anyway. Wait, where are we? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't have to do anything. Awesome. Hate doing things. Back to Westcourt. So excited that I've got bonus XP. I can't even. I can't even tell you. <laughs> it's. It's. I'm very glad we went on that little exploration mission. You know. I'll pay off in the long run. So which way do I want to go now? This way. Ah, oh right, okay, so this, this would have been locked anyway. So probably for the best that we didn't try to come here before. There's a checkpoint now. What's, um... What's this? Oh! Oh, okay. I knew people were trying to hit me, but I just figured I'll just ignore them. It'll be fine. What did we just get? Uh, I just got something. What was it? Oh, twisted out, we got a necklace. Increase armor effectiveness by 30%. That's pretty sweet. And reduces our encumbrance as well, which isn't really a problem right now, but could be down the line. I have a missed checkpoint, I suppose. Cool, cool, cool. And let's have a little poke down here, and then we'll have a little poke the other way. And then we'll poke around a little bit more. Stupid evil tree. Just, just, just be a cool tree like me. You know, ants. Ants are cool. Boink. It's a, um, it's a hit scan. Is it hit scan? I can't remember what the opposite of hit scan is, but the game is hit scan. So when it comes to shooting things in video games, there's really two ways it can work. Either if you've got your, like most. I would say more casual, I guess, or less completely skill-based games will use hitscan, wherein if I put my cursor over something's head and I click the button, it will shoot them in the head. You know, it's just, it's an automatic, it's, a, it's an instantaneous thing. I've clicked in the right place, they're going to get shot in the head. Some guns, let's say you're firing a bow in a lot of guns or you play certain Overwatch characters, some Overwatch characters like um, Soldier 76 are hitscanned because they're meant to be like beginner characters. Some use proper projectiles, meaning if you shoot at someone but they've, they're have they moving fast enough, your bullets will miss. Your bullets are firing a literal projectile that can uh, miss the target. This is all probably very common knowledge, but I'm just going to talk about it anyway. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say, I suppose. I think this game is hit scan. In that if I click on someone's head, they're going to die. You know, they can't, they can't dodge the projectile. Because it isn't a projectile. Racking up these headshots. Someone upstairs. Someone downstairs. Trait unlocked exploiter. Is that for getting headshots? 
weak spot damage. Okay, that's a pretty good one as well. Because that's, I mean, that leans into what we're already trying to build as a character, right? Now, obviously, we're going to ignore it entirely <laughs> until we've maxed out our XP. But definitely one we'll want in the future. For sure. Maybe I'll get to like 10 in the XP and then maybe level the others a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. If I start to die, we'll reconsider. I think I think that's the best way to think about it, really. But as long as I'm doing okay, we can... um. Oh, what's scrap oil when it's at home? Oh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's worry about this first. Ow. God damn. That root rot. Every every goddamn Souls like and indeed Souls born game on the planet's like, well, we need a rotting mechanic. Everyone loves a rotting mechanic. Me I've heard about the swamp already. There's a swamp somewhere. Because it's a souls like, and therefore there must be a poison swamp. It's just a rule, apparently. Nobody likes the poison swamp, and yet we must all endure the poison swamp. I was right the first time. I'm not sure about the twentieth time. I'm falling for it twice, Bucko. Whoa. Is that all you got? Where are we? What's going on here? Okay. I think this is probably a dead end down here, so we'll keep exploring. Get some loot to loot. Get some XP, SP. Shot in the face. I'll say this root rot takes ages to fade as well. Look at it. We've got like half a bar and it's... What are you doing? I don't get to do this. You don't get to do it. You little numpty. I mean, I guess I can... I mean, I guess I can, sort of. But there's no, like, actual hide-behind-cover mechanic, per se. I, I can't, like... Oh, wait. Yeah! <laughs> I can't um, hide-behind-cover, then hit left trigger to pop up and shoot something. You know what I mean? If I hide-behind-cover, it's it's very... It's, it's all very controlled, is what I'm saying. Onwards. Oh, okay. This is also... Wait, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I was really hoping for a dead end. Um... Hmm. Oh well. Maybe it'll wrap around again. Maybe we can just help up back later if need be. On we go. How close are we to leveling up? Hmm. Thermal Geo. The fire that burned the world could not burn everything. What's left is strength, power, and death. Checkpoint! And checkpoints. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I've decided what's, that's what the checkpoints sound like. The Ash Yard. All right, that sounds optimistic. Nothing bad happens at a place called the Ash Yard, right? Only good things in the Ash Yard. XX. Oh, hello. Girls, girls, girls. It's never boys, boys, boys. You know? Never boys, boys, boys. I guess there's a whole magic mic thing. It does exist, but women... I guess women, gay guys, bi guys... Non-binary people who like men. Is this another boss? <laughs> what the hell? All right. <laughs> Is it a boss? It's usually... Oh, there we go. Oh, that might be the large thing. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a dragon. I'm going to shoot you in the chest, buddy. Just so you know. Personally, I would not have my weak spot be a giant glowing coal on my chest. Personally. Kill Singe. Okay, Singe has a lot a lot of health. I just need to keep distance from that. I like Singe so far, because he's the only bloody boss in the game that doesn't have thousand friends helping him out. Oh, and there they are. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh, that makes sense. 
I'm trying to stay away from him in case because A it gives me more distance to dodge fireballs. And B if he does that sort of wide reaching one. That one. I think I need distance from that, right? Away from Singe. I said I was going to hit him on this weak spot, but it's not that easy to do. Oh, I'm going to swap back to you. Oh. 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 The head seems to be like a little weak spot. Whoa, Nelly. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was meant to do about that. Maybe just move. bad really because I had room for once to move around in you know that's really the main benefit I had a lot of space I never have a lot of space quick hands reload speed okay that's not terrible it's definitely one I would consider putting some points in I also got an em wait hold what oh there, all right. <laughs> great <laughs> okay cool all right let's explore around a little bit so you can see how, what I think they've done, and I do think the campaign is random as far as I know, at least a little bit. Um, I think what they've basically done is they've designed a bunch of enemies for each world, a bunch of enemies, a bunch of bosses, and a sort of random level generation thing, and they've kind of just sloughed it together. I don't think everyone who plays this game is going to fight that boss in this area. I could be wrong about that. Um, you folks aren't going to see this for a while, but when you do see this playthrough, any of you who've played this game, I'd be really curious to see if that's the case. If it is random, how many of you fought this guy here? Like, I think I could have killed that guy if that was the first boss I'd faced. I think I probably would have survived, even with our basic baby weapons. I think if I fought the first boss again, I would still get my ass whooped a couple of times. Which is the nature of randomization. Hey, I like seeing cool things. And um, we got a new, we got a blazing car. A powerful weapon, not a weapon mod, but a powerful weapon. That's interesting. The ancient subjugation of the Rin has evolved into a symbiotic relationship. Their young are incubated in something, something. There you are. Let's, um, let's nip back home. Eh, yeah, I'll do it later. I'm trying to keep the gameplay going for as long as I can. I do want to go back and... We've got two boss... Boss souls, I guess you would call them, essentially, now. So, I'd love to... Um, <clears throat> Go and see what they do, but what the hell is going on over there? Why is the world going all wibbly wobbly? Okay, mildly unexpected. <laughs> Freaking giant tower just dropped in front of my face. All over the place, seemingly. What the hell is this? Speak to the... Oh, cool. This is where I need to get to. Nice. You a dude? Oh, look at him. He's amazing. Out come some more grim cracks in the walls. Grow every day. Surrounding me. I like his throne. Hello. Human. The core is rotten. The root corrupts everything. Why do you distract the keeper? Hmm. Insignificant. Chance of success negligible. The guardians are destroyed. The devourer lurks unchecked. The labyrinth erodes daily. And I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and see. Where am I going? The labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path <laughs> you require exists, it lies within. You're no help at all. 
Thanks. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. I think my character's been teleported up to this magical tower. Talk to this guy who's a giant of some description. I don't know what's going on with him. And she's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Nothing to talk about here. Just a normal day. Nothing strange happening whatsoever. I guess with the route around, you would stop freaking around around this kind of thing. Oh, another trait. Keeper's Blessing. Elemental resistance, I don't care about that. Not yet, in a way. XP, 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 XP. Okay, let's let's nip back. Since we're about to do this labyrinth kind of thing, let's um let's nip back and check our boss souls as they were and see if we can make anything cool. I'm very excited about the possibility of making a weapon. More than a weapon power. But we'll have a look. I kind of want to nip back to one of the other... We had another direction we could have gone in. And the, the, the sort of uh, slightly obsessive part of my brain is like, Well, you did ignore an entire possible path. Maybe you want to go check that out. Thanks, buddy. Certainly. Okay, crafting. I don't know how you make weapons. I can upgrade. We're not going to do anything right now. Just, I really want to sell. <laughs> I want to sell all of this. Okay, you don't really have anything new. Now you'll have. I'm not in the mood for chat. I don't care what you're in the mood for. <laughs> Magic tower. Yeah, right. Either you and Ace are nutty, or things are worse out there than I thought. <laughs> all right then. Oh, it is her. Seed Caller summons a root hollow that deals 50 damage per hit. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we have a flick. It's a Spitfire. Ideal range 15. Spew flames that ignite targets with the burning effect. I mean, I get the weapon mod. We may as well, right? We're done here. Even after I want to... Oh, hello. Weapon mods can be equipped to most ranged weapons. Like, okay. So maybe I want to change this one for Seed Caller. It sounds cool. Summon a Root Hollow that deals 65 damage per hit. I mean, I just like the idea of summoning one of my own. And... If I go... Wait, where's my gun? Oh, it's a pistol. Oh, that makes it much more exciting. I can't remove it. I was hoping I would be able to. Fully on my weapon that's... High fire rate. Okay. We'll have to upgrade it a little bit. It's got worse range, better ammo, much worse damage, but it fires quicker and has a bigger magazine. And also, it's not upgraded. Okay. Okay. I can hardly believe it. Oh, yeah, the dragon. The root dragon, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upgrade. It does co oh, it cost me Luminite Crystals to upgrade. Interesting. I don't know if there's going to be any... I don't know. It feels... Mm, I feel like I should just focus on upgrading my main stuff. You know? I'm going to upgrade that first. What's the problem with you? I need... Oh, I need Forged Iron. Okay, that's good. If I can get everything up to the point where it needs Forged Iron, then I can worry less about it as well. Because, like, now I know I don't need to keep Iron back for the hunting rifle. You know what I mean? Screw it. Let's go. It does only slightly less damage, but it fires quite a lot quicker. Has a much bigger magazine. And it sets things on fire. However, the problem is it can't have another weapon mod, so I can't take Seed Caller with me, which I quite like. So maybe I shouldn't have done that at all. In retrospect, <laughs> maybe I should have just upgraded my armor instead. I feel like I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll try out Seed Caller and we'll try out the other one and we'll just see which one we prefer. Not like we've committed. Maybe Seed Call is rubbish. It sounds cool, but maybe it's rubbish. Now, select world settings to reroll the current campaign. It allows you to select different difficulty levels at the cost of reset. Okay. Travel. So. That's the labyrinth. I don't think it. Um, 
Give me a sec, folks. There's a path I didn't go down, so I just want to have a little poke. A little cheeky poke. And I, I don't really know. Oh, right. I kind of looked out a little bit there. It happens to be right here. See, there's, there's a there's a thing. There's a um, uh, travel location thingamajiggy in it. So I think it's worth exploring. This game is really designed to be replayable. And you farm things and you level up the difficulty and all that kind of jazz. And we're not really going to do that. So we are going to explore. For, I, I, I know I keep saying it. <laughs> but because we're not playing it like that, we will fully experience what the game has to offer as much as we can on the first run through, I think is the idea. Let's check it out. Let's head into the, the lovely dirty sewers. Who doesn't love a lovely... I love a dirty sewer. <laughs> warning you. Oh. I'm glad we came here. Something's going on. Oh, there's a human. I didn't see the human. I was looking at the door behind them and wondering if that was relevant. The curious cat trips you. the trap. What are you warning me about? Best step away, stranger. Unless you want a bullet through, <coughs> through your... <coughs> oh, hell. <coughs> Fuck it. <coughs> Who am I kidding? If you all stop swearing on my PG-13 channel. <coughs> right as rain. <coughs> Just <coughs> afflicted with life in this hellhole is all. How much longer, though? <coughs> Oh, there is something I can do. Here. <coughs> Take my key. Don't mind leaving my <coughs> effects behind if a good soul picks them up. Mind your feet, though. <coughs> Traps. Traps everywhere. <coughs> now get on. <coughs> you got more road than me. <coughs> Thank you, stranger. It's not this, is it? I think so. Enter the safe house. Oh, that smell. I'm definitely glad we came back. It's the first person we've ever met out in the in the wild. Right, I want to try this out. Faster up. Ah, bro, get him, buddy. <laughs> oh, I do like that. Get him, get him. Problem is, however, they don't really seem to have any interest in him, and <laughs> they're completely focused on me. I tell you what, he lasts a while though, he's still going. 30 seconds is a lot longer than you realize. And there he goes. I can see that being useful in boss fights and stuff like that. Alright, let's try the other one out. We'll end up with so much iron and scrap, assumedly. At least iron, that we can upgrade them all anyway. Now, I do like the fire rate. Not good for headshots and stuff like that, though. We don't really want automatic weapons with the build we're building at the moment. I need to try it against something a little bit tougher, you know? I think it might be good against bosses. Just pew, 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 pew. in case you miss out, that was pew, 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 pew. It's, it's a technical term. Hello, lovely. I haven't had one of you in ages. Oh, four giant, good stuff. What? You'll notice that I reload. Constantly. <laughs> That's probably why I got the reload trait so early. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a habit from Call of Duty. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops, I think was really my game. And um, I assume we're going to get a melee damage one as well, actually. If I keep doing that. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops, and I would really get into the habit of reloading after every single engagement, just so I had a full mag ready for the next one. Now, sometimes that definitely got me killed because I'd be reloading and someone would obviously come around the corner and cause havoc. I'm not even on fire yet. There we go. I 
need to double check how this, um... It's a few things that ignites to Oh, no, I have to use... Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot it's a weapon mod. Right. It says it's use flames. It says it's a flamethrower. I mean, that suggests... That... It's not a... a it's it's the, the pistol itself is going to fire flames out from it, you know? Hmm. I've also got 37 charges for it. It's interesting. Okay. I, so, so far, I'd say the other pistol is winning just in terms of which one I like the most in terms of play style. I think the other one suits what we're doing a little bit more. However, how good this flame mod is is going to determine a lot. Also, there are traps. We were warned about this. I still not have a trait. <laughs> I'm always confused when I haven't traded up in a long time. Come on, you lot. <laughs> I like the idea more that she's just having the absolute goddamn time of her life, you know, just slashing gremlins going, woo! It reminds me of, um, I've been rewatching Archer lately. <laughs> he does anything, he just goes, woo! Arms up, cheering. It's the same vibe. I wonder if I can uh, reload cancel at all. Uh, animation cancel on the reload. I'm going to try it out, actually. So if I fire, I'll show you what I mean. If I fire, I need to reload, right? All right, let's try this out. Oh. Oh, it's, uh, I think I... I don't know what I do. <laughs> I die is what I do. Oh, right. Okay. Pressing the wrong button every time. You have to hold left trigger and RB to do this. Okay, I mean, that, that seems... I know I was messing it up a lot, but damage-wise, that does feel pretty powerful. That felt like it was doing a lot of deeps. This is a good opportunity to experiment with this as well. I think that it charges both. As in, if I use this gun, it'll power up the power on the other one. In a way, you just... Oh, I see you. <laughs> you just think of it as, like, more ammo, I suppose, but for, like, a more powerful weapon. I'm not sure. I mean, I think we mainly stick with the hunting rifle anyway. So maybe we use the hunting rifle... And we think of it as having a hunting rifle and a flamethrower, you know? Maybe that's the, the way to consider it. Sure is, buddy. Sure is. I'm glad we came down here. Seems like there's a lot of stuff. And we haven't even got to the safe house yet. Oh, I need to pop a... Um... I'm just going to use all three of these. I'm just going to chuck them in order at the start of the game. I don't really see the point of saving them, per se. Straight point! Level 8 already. <laughs> we just got the bloody thing. Trade point! <laughs> Needed to get the bonus 1% from this guy. Trade point! Living the dream. Because the XP doesn't change. It's always 1500. Um, so, every... I mean, surely you just that means you just level up faster and faster, right? Maybe enemy XP doesn't really scale, per se. But, I mean, you can level hundreds of times, clearly. Depends how many traits are in the game, I suppose, but... Bit of an awkward situation here. Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty great. It feels like it does a lot of damage. It's quite short-lived. Like, it's empty now, and that was all it gave me. But it does hit pretty bloody hard. So, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd, I, if I could, I'd put the flamethrower on the other one, you know, ideally. But I, I get why you can't. I get why some weapon mods are probably going to be locked to certain weapons. Grumble, grumble, grumble. As they say. But uh, I think we'll use it for now. It's interesting because it means maybe I don't want to level up the weapon because I don't think I'm leveling up the weapon mod. All right? If anything, we want to level up spirit. I don't know if the mods get any stronger or if I maybe get a way to level them up somehow later on. But it's not the gun stats I'm interested in. It's the... Uh, I mean, we'll level up the gun as well, but... Low priority. It's the, it's the weapon stuff. It's the uh, the mod stats I'm interested in. Also, what's whoa? Okay, <laughs> let me just. <laughs> ah, wait, what the? Were these all here a second ago? Okay, let me just. I can see it here, so I don't know if we're gonna hit it. Let me just. Okay, bear with me. <laughs> let me just rest again, and see if they respawn. This must be the safe house, right? Given it's um, kicking my ass. Okay, they don't respawn now. Okay. It's gotta be close. What, what? Oh, right. Here we go. Ta okay, we've got a trait, and we got 360 scrap. What's the trait? Shadow Walker. Enemy awareness range. Interesting. I don't think I care about that at all. I'm far too aggressive for such things, frankly. But, you know, it's, it's 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 there. In a way, the more bad traits we find is also positive, because it means I don't feel bad pouring all my trait points into particular things, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what it is. Jesus. Ooh. Hunting pistol two, okay. That okay, it's like a, it's like a revolver. A large accurate single shot pistol. Yeah. Um It's definitely interesting. I'm not sure it's one I'll end up using. It's definitely interesting. <laughs> All right, I think we are done with down here, so we can head back to the labyrinth. Got 30 minutes left. We can dabble around a little bit in the labyrinth. Have a little fun in the labyrinth. Get down in the labyrinth. Travel. Leaf dungeon. Okay, so if we go through... Okay, there's like an overworld. Because there's so many of those like yellow door things, it seems a bit weird that I have to leave dungeon and then travel again. I mean, oh, it's because I have to get back to a checkpoint. Um, right, so yeah, if I go through one of these, I'm entering a dungeon. We should expect some hard fights, and we should expect some loot at the end. Or a boss. A boss or a dungeon kind of thing. I think they're the same. But it, it, this is, this, this is the, the wider overworld. But it has parts to it, although we've gone up and down a lot. Because you go up and down so much, they kind of just feel like doors taking you to the next area rather than individual dungeons, if you know what I mean. It's free XP, you know. <laughs> <coughs> Throat, stop it. You and me are going to have words. Right, to the labyrinth. Here we go. The oldest metal in the world. Is Zion the oldest metal? I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, can't go this way. Well, then maybe I can. I sure can. Okay. I mean, it's a labyrinth, right? We just we just go in a direction and we hope we end up somewhere good, I suppose. Are you somewhere good? Let's find out. Okay. Is that a chest? That looks like a chest. Oh, it looks like a teleporter. It looked like a chest, now it looks like a teleporter. Oh. Tarnished ring? No. Okay, right. So we need a thing for a thing. That's all the information I can give you right now, but the thing needs a thing, and we're going to try to find a thing for a thing.
find this a little disconcerting. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Just appear, be normal. Alright, what's behind door number two? I need a goat behind one of them and then I can figure this out properly. I can never choose what door to go behind unless I know there's a goat behind one of them and Monty Hall's uh, leading me on. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can go down there as well, though. Why do I want to go down there? Hmm, hmm. I saw things. Aha! Been a year, a year since Evelyn took it into her head to Rom as a desolated hellscape. It shows a lot of promise. The people who fought the route and run. There's so much I can learn. Maybe in how to end the route for good. Maybe now to help her. Fourth trip here. So those are locked tight, guarded by the most terrifying beings I've seen. They seek in information from elsewhere. From the people calling themselves Akari back home. Nadine is what, 20 now, 21? Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you probably remember how old they are. Then they go and change it again. It's going distant. She's not wanted to travel with me for once now. She asked why I kept searching. I told her to stay. She wants me home. Wants me to protect the ward. She doesn't understand I am protecting the ward. I have to do this. I have to do it alone. Yesha. Okay, so that was Rom. This is in Yesha. Peaceful here. Beautiful. At least when nothing's trying to kill me. We're so damn deadly I could settle here. The pan have been more welcoming than they were on my first visit. Okay, so apparently the people. Falling in with the destitute and enslaved. Fast social rift between the pan has been for centuries. The change is brewing. The pan are talking of rebellion. Navon in particular asked for my help. What can I do? Isn't that something? Don't know much about revolution. Blah, 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 blah. I'm American offering oppressive oligarchies is what we do. Not sure how I feel about that one. <laughs> it's obviously a, a reference to the, the revolution against the British, but... Uh, anyways. I died. I can never feel photos of Fleet and then watch out for those extra the ones with red crystals instead of faces. Their beams can be a solid rock. Could Ellen have done this? Sounds crazy. I sacrificed her at Wards 13. She did something to protect me, blah, blah, blah. Some kind of curse, taunting me of immortality. Root doesn't know what I'm up to. If they do, then let me have this power. Holy smoke, took me forever to decipher what the Akari was trying to tell me. I finally learned how to defeat the Root. The Undying King, Newt their world, explains the desolation, the mutants. That can be the only way to beat the Root, can it? Don't know Dean about the Undying King, Scottish Earth, so I shouldn't have. Now she thinks the quest is crazier than ever. Don't shoot those beehive mutants in the head. Okay, good to know. Grandfather, granddaughter, Ellen Ford, Blood Dinora, that Northern is one hell of a leader. Yeah, they don't want to escape. Da, 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 da. There's so much bloody text, so much bloody text, so much bloody text, <laughs> so much bloody text. And it's like, if you're really into it, I think it's fine. My problem is, I don't find reading long journals to be a particularly immersive form of storytelling. You know what I mean? It, 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 just on a genuine, on a genuine... Okay, are we going to ROM? Or the other one? Just on a pure storytelling basis, it's just—it's not very immersive. I'm just sitting here reading flat lines of dialogue. It's not very exciting. I'd rather my story be better integrated than that, personally. I see why games do it, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world. So I guess we're gonna be following him. There's several worlds we can travel through. I guess we're following him around. Now I am looking as intense as ever. King, I did not expect you. You are not he. Yet you have opened the gates. A second new. It must be. Forgive my confusion, unheralded one. I guess the Nui. I can't remember the name of the lad, but the guy from the the ward is traveling around. Nui must be realm travelers or something. Speaker of the ward. Herald of the Guardian. Yet I thought to... Have you not knew it? Of course I am. I wanted to know your opinion. Of course, of course, so artful one. <laughs> May the black sun consume me in my ignorance. Well, that's probably a bit much. What is this place? Your sublime feet honor the sands of the eastern wind, itinerant one. Whatever your purpose, we are blessed by your presence. Ford. Ford is the other one. Looking for Ford. Surely there are none like you, inimitable one. At least I have never seen your like. I know none of that name or description. There is one who might know, but uh, he is not one to give information willingly. 
Except perhaps to another Nui. So it sounds like he's the one. I don't know what she just said. There's another one of you, and then she said, but there's none like you. <laughs> yes, yes. Perhaps you are the one after all. Of course I am. You seek Islam, the undying king. But I warn you, challenging him will not be easy. Take caution. Where can I find him? He rules from the citadel, in the canyons beyond the Black Sun Gate. The gate has been sealed since time forgotten. Oh, but no doubt you will find a way, dynamic one. Such a flirt, honestly. Like all Akari, I am only eager to see the Guardian restored and the planet reborn. Oh, discerning one, it is my joy then, my great honor, to help you find the Nui who was alive when said Guardian fell. None. Only one has there ever been since the days of the Guardian. Your arrival is unprecedented, portentous. Go well, enlightened one. I've often been referred to as portentous. Okay, here we are. Second world, I suppose. Eastern wind. All right, well, things are just... Oh, God, my arms are killing me. <laughs> I'm never working out again, I swear. Uh, right, we'll end it there. A little bit short, well, only three minutes. No point heading off and then... Desperately trying to find a checkpoint. <laughs> Apologies, by the way, so the dialogue's quite quiet. As you'll see in the audio settings, I changed the dialogue to be much louder than everything else. But, um... It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't bloody matter. <laughs> it just doesn't bloody matter. It's still so much quieter. And on the first, like... Oh, my defense is low for the... Look in the bottom left. My defense is low for the zone. Interesting. I guess I did put all my points upgrading my weapons in there rather than upgrading my armor at all. <laughs> or does it mean my resistance is bad? No, it doesn't. I, I'm pretty sure it just means my armor in general is bad for this area. Because I haven't upgraded it because I'm a numpty. We'll start putting more points into our armor going forward. More scrap and more iron. How much have I got? Yeah, not much. Anyways, we'll end it there. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.